wonderful day at TCIS. Welcome to the Wednesday show. I'm Mint, and here are your weekly announcements for Wednesday, March 1st. Just a reminder, there is no school on Monday in recognition of Maha Bucha Day. Enjoy your three-day weekend. There is an assembly this Friday. See you guys at the 360. There is a JV Boys and Girls Basketball Tournament this weekend. Wish them luck. Roshan Chocolate Day was on February 24th. Let's see what's the behind the scenes and thoughts on how the Student Council managed the event. Roshan Chocolate Day is an event hosted by the Student Council and has continued ever since it's been introduced. It's an event where students are able to express their gratitude for someone during meaningful letters and flowers. Let's take a look at the behind the scenes of this event. So it's a pretty lengthy process and yeah, the most important part is just planning things beforehand to make sure that everything will go well on Rose Night. Rose Night is extremely crucial for the organizing and distribution of roses and chocolates before the actual Rose and Chocolate Day. All letters are sent over to the members and are organized into individual sections, for example, set A, set B, singles, triplets, etc. During Rose Night, we have different stations set up. So there's a station for tying ribbons for triplets. There's a station for people to make bouquets. And there are stations that put things together for the sets, etc. After all the stations are done, then after dinner, we um, sort and distribute all of the roses and things to all of the classrooms. Rose and Chocolate Day gives the students an opportunity to write down what they want into the letters that conveys their true feelings for a certain someone. Buying a letter for them will surely make that certain someone aware of your feelings and how much you cherish them. Roses are flowers of love. Giving your third person a rose is a great way to express your appreciation for them. It may be a small gift, but the feelings behind it is immeasurable. Let's appreciate the efforts the Student Council has put into this event. My name is Pepe, reporting from WTV. Thank you to the Student Council for the hard work. Next up, we have a story on a senior and his unusual interest. August is a very intelligent senior. He will be one of our top graduates. Along with studying, he also plays games, basketball. But his favorite hobby is playing with his Rubik's Cube. This is the only thing that he can play with without being scored by his parents. I started playing Rubik's Cube when I was 12. I started playing the Rubik's Cube because all my friends in the grade was doing it and I thought it was quite interesting. So then I just, I guess I just found it, found it interested too. August isn't playing with his Rubik's Cube just for fun. He joins the viral competitions and eventually plays in the top 13 in Thailand. The first time I solved the Rubik's Cube, I was so happy that I ran to my mom yelling I solved it. My proudest moments when playing the Rubik's Cube was I got was getting a 7.42 second solve in a competition which ranked me 13 in Thailand. A Rubik's Cube is not enough for him. August has more than 30 types of Rubik's in his collection. My favorite out of my collection would be this one. Uh, there was a time when no one in Thailand has a good clock. This is called a Rubik's clock, and no one in Thailand was very good at it. And it's something that I thought I could beat everyone in. I waited till 3 a.m. to buy this because it was a limited edition. I hope he will get to the first place in Thailand. This is Smith reporting for WTV. Wow, that's so cool. I want to start playing Rubik's now. My friends and I went to an inter interesting workshop last weekend. Let's see how it went. Lek Lek Cafe is a cafe and a studio located at 8 Gamai 21. There are limited seats in the studio, so you have to make a reservation beforehand. The shop is decorated with a cheerful tone with flowers and cute accessories. There are more than 40 types of cakes, toppings, and creative candles for sale. The shop sells birthday cakes which are both for pre-order and last-minute orders. What we are doing today is the DIY cake workshop, which is 490 baht per person. The cake would come in a white cream frosting and other additional colors for decorating. There are other tools such as scraper and blending palette ready for us. We can use our own imagination and decorate the cake any style we want. 
me and my friends decided to paint our favorite characters onto the cake. Once we are done, our cakes would be packed nicely into a transparent cake box ready to be eaten. This is definitely a place where you could hang out with your friends and share your imaginations. I had a really good time. Don't forget to check it out. If you have any announcements, make sure to submit them on the WTV Google form. That's all the announcements for today. See you next week on WTV.